one's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another action figure review. This time we're diving into the new wave of the retro collection based on characters from The Mandalorian, which I'm pretty actually excited about. Um, I wasn't planning on picking these up, but I decided to start with two, and uh, they look like they're going to be plenty available because there's just my local Zing Pop Culture and EB Games stocked to the brim. Um, if I remember, I'll drop some images in right here. So there's going to be no shortage at all of these things. So I thought, why not kick off with the titular character, the Mandalorian himself. Now, this is looking pretty good. Cards looking nice. We've seen this in the vintage collection already. So I prefer the vintage collection version. I don't like the big sticker and I'm not too fond of the sort of the wear and tear, but it is what it is. It's getting to the point that these are meant to look like vintage, vintage sort of figures that have been bashed around a little bit, hanging on the pegs for a long time. And uh, these things could look worse because if there's that many in stores and um, people aren't grabbing them, then they could stick around for quite a long time. So on the back, don't have any other pictures, but just a list of the other characters. Remnant Stormtrooper is obviously one that will become available in Monopoly game only. Um, and word is that's not going to hit down here in Australia. So search elsewhere for your Remnant Stormtroopers. But nonetheless, I'm really excited to have a vintage style Mando. I think, I think the, the, the characters and stuff will make for great figures. So let's kick off with Mando. Let's get him open and have a look. All right, so here is Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, out of his box, and he is looking pretty damn cool. I'm digging this a lot. Um, like I said, these figures translate great into the old retro vintage style of action figures. Um, oh, one little thing I probably would have preferred if they had gone sort of like post Return of the Jedi stuff from 1983 and they started moving away from the vinyl capes and stuff and started going with soft goods. Um, there were quite a few figures back in the old vintage days that uh, ended up with soft goods and uh, I think that was a massive improvement but I, I understand where they're going to with this. Um, so for me personally I think I'm going to make a little um, cloth cape and uh, do away with the vinyl cape but it's okay. It's alright. I'm... Uh, I'll probably leave it like this for the meantime because it looks okay, but um, yeah, I think just a nice sort of cloth cape will look a lot better. So weapon-wise, I think you'll be pleased to know that he holds them very well. Um, the first wave of retro figures, which is the New Hope ones that came out a couple of years ago, uh, they couldn't hold any of their weapons, so they were particularly bad for that. I'm not sure whether they improved them with the Empire Strikes Back stuff, but um, they've certainly done it here. So nice sort of chunky handle there on the rifle. But uh, yeah, certainly sort of simplified it down. But it looks cool. It looks like something that could have belonged in the 70s and 80s. Looks great. So yeah, they've given these hands a nice shape. So you can put that in there and that's not even going to fall out. So that's fantastic. Same with the pistol here. Looks good. And again, holds really well in the hand. Maybe a little bit looser, but not too bad at all. That's not going to go anywhere. So the overall sculpting on this thing is just really, really cool. Um, really makes me want to sort of get a nice photo shot with the uh, retro Boba Fett. I think they look great together. Cool paint details. Um, again, they're going with the very simple sort of retro sort of three or four separate colors. Um, so they've got nice touches of sort of blue up there for the sort of Scarif Trooper armor there. Looks good. And sort of silver for the helmet. Browns, creams, a little bit of blue down there. And just the sort of, um, sort of charcoal gray for the undershirt. A little bit of silver there on the belt buckle too, which is nice. But yeah, really nicely sculpted. Cool little details. The fact that they've got these sort of Two thigh guards slightly different. The knee darts there look good. That looks very similar to. I'm sure they used Boba Fett as a uh, 
as an inspiration for this one. Holster is sculpted on, but it looks alright. Looks good. Nice sort of patterns there on the back of the sleeve. Looks really cool. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. They look freaking cool. Um, yeah, I was never really against the idea. Um, I was sort of all for it. Um, just sort of, sort of half decided that I didn't really want to dive in and collect these figures just because it was going to be another seven or eight figures that I had to buy but having this one in hand now I think I'm all in um, next up I'll be reviewing the child so that'll really cement my decision and being that there's going to be so many they'll be easy to uh, track down on a week to week basis maybe I'll pick one up a week give it a review add it to the collection um, yeah it's safe to say most of us have got a Mando Madness so Actually, really, I like him holding the rifle like that. That looks cool. <clears throat> Alright, folks, love to hear what you think. Please drop sound out in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. So thank you for watching. Until the next video, may the force be with you. And this is the way.